to the channel in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is shuffle string so in this question we're given a string s and an integer array indices of the same length both the length of the string and the length of the array are same and the string s will be shuffled such that the character at the ith index position moves to index of i position inside the shuffle string and we have to return the shuffle string as the final output so this is the input given to us s is the string and indices is the array of indices where we have to shuffle now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved so i've taken the same example this is the string given to us and this is the indices array so let us start off by converting this string into a character array so that we can use it to form our output so this will be our character array which is of the same length as the indices array so we're going to use the indices array i is pointing at 4 so we have to insert the new character at this position so we iterate through the string from left to right so the first character is c so we insert c at the fourth position in the cars array so l will be replaced with c and now go for the next iteration i is pointing at 5 so we have to replace that element in the character array and here too we go for the next iteration it's pointing at o so e will be replaced by o now go for the next iteration i is pointing at 6 now the next character is d replace the sixth character with d and go for the next iteration i is pointing at 7 and increment the character here the character is e so replace the seventh character with e now go for the next iteration i is pointing at 0 so the next character inside s is l so replace c with l at the 0th index. Go for the next character, it is E. The next iteration, I is pointing at 2. So replace the second character with E. I is pointing at 1. Next character is E again. So replace first character with E. O will be replaced with E. Now I is pointing at 3. The next character is T. So replace the character at 3 with T. Now in the next iteration, I reads the end of the indices array. So you can end the iteration. And now for this program we have to return a string right and now we have our output inside this character array so convert this character array into a string so i'm going to create a string variable result and i'll iterate through the character array from left to right and access one character at a time and using a for loop i'll insert it into the string so our result so this will be our string which will be our final output now let's implement these steps in a java program coming to the function given to us this is the function name and this is the input string s and the second parameter is the indices array of the same length as s and the return type is a string because we have to return the shuffle string as the output so coming to the first check is that if the length of the input string is zero or if the string is null we return an empty string as the output and the second condition is that if the length of the input string s is not equal to the length of the array indices then also we return a empty string as the output so these are the two base checks now we are going to build our output though the return type is a string first we are building a character array and we are converting this character array to a output string and this character array is also going to be of the same length as the string s now let's iterate through the indices array from 0 till the end of the length and i'm using a variable to access indices of i so you read it as the zeroth position element inside the string will be inserted at the indices of i position inside the character array. So this will happen for all the characters inside the string and we have a final answer inside character array. Now we return our result by building the result from the character array. So I declared a result which is initially an empty string. Now using a for loop, I iterate through the character array from starting to end and each time I'm going to append one character at a time inside the result. So finally outside this for loop we have a result inside this variable result. So return it as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the string s. And the space complexity is also O of n because we are using a character array to build our output. So that's it guys. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.